Hi, your sea dollies here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, long time no see, and honestly, that's a sad thing for me because I've really wanted to film. I have some great scripts written, I feel like, and I was really looking forward to putting them out, but my back problems have been acting up a lot recently, so I haven't been able to film. Thank you so much to Maddie's AG for letting me use this idea. I will link their channel down below. Today, I'm going to be reacting to your unpopular AG opinions. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. The first one is, the re-release of the old Pleasant Company dolls made old collectors feel like a joke. I've thought about this a little bit. I do agree that it definitely made, it made the value of the original dolls go down. And I understand why you would feel that way, but at the same time, I think it's really important for younger girls to know where this company started off and the history behind it, probably have to disagree personally. The next one is, lined eyebrows look fine and some of the shaped ones like Leah's look aggressive. I actually have a Leah and I really like her eyebrows. I think they're very unique. I do like lined eyebrows too. I have my sister's Truly Me 23 up here and her eyebrows are cute. Otherwise, I think all of my dolls have shaped eyebrows. But yeah, I agree with you that the lined eyebrows look fine. And I don't think Leah's look too aggressive at all. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have her, but... Melody is the best historical character. Okay, I'm not sure I would say the best, but she's definitely up there. I personally love Melody. I don't know if everyone would agree that she is one of the best, but I'm, I'm gonna agree with you that because I really like her story. I think it has a really important message. I love her collection. I love her as a doll. I I, I do think Melody is an amazing historical character. Whether she's the best, I would probably say someone like Addie is the best overall. McKenna is boring. Oh my gosh, so if you'd said this to me when I was like 11, I would have gone crazy because I used to love McKenna. But as I got older, I definitely agree. I can't lie, I do agree. Her story and her in her movie, she was kind of just a brat. I liked her in the year and I suppose as a younger collector I liked her, I did gymnastics and I really liked her collection. I literally probably got the gymnastics set that I have <laughs> because of McKenna. But no, I'm gonna agree with you. I think McKenna is boring. <laughs> Tenny is a queen. Mm, no, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I can't agree with that one. I don't like Tenny. I love her prototype, I can't even lie, like I know it was a basic doll, but the prototype on her box of all her collection was so good. And the thing is, she's so like Taylor Swift, and I love Taylor Swift, and I love because she wasn't put as girl of the year, she just didn't make sense as a doll. I love the idea of the hands being different, I loved her whole collection, I didn't like her lips, her eyes creeped me out, and her freckles creeped me out, and I, I, I don't know, I'm not a Tenny fan, I'm sorry. <laughs> The coloured hair dolls are cute. Okay, so for sure I think some of them are cute. I've, and everyone has their own kind of preferences for their collection. For me, I don't love the coloured hair dolls that come directly from American Girl. Some of them are okay. Like the one with the, oh, I forget her number. She wears the camouflage and the dark hair with the blue and the green. She's quite cute. The other ones I don't, I don't really love. I think the ones that have fully coloured hair, first of all, it's not realistic for a brand that is aged eight, and we're always saying that we want things for older collectors too, but I think we more mean clouds, like, I don't think that's what we meant. But I, I don't know, I just feel like the ones from American Girl, the hair doesn't really like blend right with their face almost for some reason. Dolls like Winnie in front of the camera, for instance, her hair like looks like it belongs in her head. Those dolls, I know they are wearing a wig, but it looks like they're wearing a wig, if you get what I mean. If you want a coloured hair doll in your collection, that's great, and some of them can be really pretty. Personally, they're just not for me. We need an Addy Mould Girl of the Year next year, or a Kaya Mould Girl of the Year next year. You know what, I love this idea, because there really should be an Addy Mould Girl of the Year, in my opinion. There, No, there isn't one, and there should be. And... A Kaya mold I think would be really interesting, especially I feel like there's been a lot of things about Native Americans in the medium re recently and there's been much more awareness spread and I feel like American Girl could really do a good thing by spreading the awareness to the younger generation. 
and I think that's actually probably a popular opinion rather than an unpopular one. I hate Courtney's whole collection and honestly that whole 80s aesthetic. Okay, so hate is a strong word, but I'm, I agree with you a little bit. I, I don't, I don't think Courtney's collection is the most amazing thing ever, but I don't hate it. I think some of it is very cute. I love all the denim stuff. I think the acid wash and everything is very true to the 90s, the 90s, the 80s, sorry. I don't know, some of it definitely is a bit garish. I would say that. Like it's a bit too much. I think they could have toned it down a little bit. There's definitely like, there's that kind of really garish neon 80s. And then there's, if you look at actual pictures from the 80s, I think they definitely could have been a little bit more accurate. Even shows from the 80s that we see, I don't know. They could have toned it down a little bit, just is what I'm saying, but I do still like it. I don't hate it. Felicity is superior and no one can tell me otherwise. Okay, I love this one. I love Felicity. I do like her story. I do love the colonial time period. I think it's very interesting to look at from a history perspective. I love her collection and Elizabeth's was pretty cute too. I, I love Felicity, the, the second edition Felicity in her purple dress, that is my favorite Felicity because I just love her eyes. I think that CYO is just another way of AG trying to take out the older fans. I agree. <laughs> I think American Girl is seriously is trying to take us out sometimes. And I'm like, we would give you guys great business if you would just not do things like this. Like there's so many collectors, oops, there's so many collectors that make a living off of creating custom dolls. For sure I think Create Your Own was a way to take money away from people that make customs. Courtney is pretty overrated. Yeah, I'm gonna agree. I think people were hyped because a lot of people, a lot of the older collectors in the AG community were kind of kids around in the 80s so it's probably quite nostalgic for them but at the same time yeah it's like i said earlier about her collection in general not really for me this is a long one boys already have tons of things that celebrate their, them in toys and in nearly every single book boys are the lead i'm not saying boys can't play with dolls of course they can anyone can play with anything true but we don't need boy dolls we don't need logan or all those truly me dolls I understand customs because it's someone creating a doll and not releasing it into a brand called American Girl. I get what you're saying. I think Logan was a good idea. I don't think we needed all the Trini Me boy dolls and I don't think we need the Trini Me boy line because first of all, I, I don't understand why they need to like label the clothes so much because we could put them on any of the dolls first of all. Like, I made a little joke about the boys not having teeth, which just kind of makes zero sense. Like, we understand it for the Kayad mold because that was the thing of respect. But the boy dolls not having teeth? Like, can boys not smile? Is that too girly for you? <laughs> I, I don't understand that. But yeah, I, I do understand where you're coming from. I mean, I do think it's nice for boys to have representation as well because I love that in our community there's collectors of all ages and genders and everything like that um and i do think it's true that anyone can play with dolls if they want to but definitely american girl has been about empowering girls from the beginning i pre i prefer a custom personally so my doll can have teeth <laughs> that is all the opinions i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great week and i will see you guys next week i hope Bye!